I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're exploring a wonderful book. It is called Gifted, and it is written by a terrific author. His name is Walter Sturkowski. It is a thrilling novel about Wally Kozak, a successful New York lawyer with an incredible psychic ability. Wally isn't just any lawyer. He can access memories simply by touch, using his unique powers to help others in ways they could never imagine before. With suspense, supernatural intrigue, and the pulse of New York City, Gifted will keep you turning the pages. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support authors like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his wonderful book. The links are below this interview. Walter, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Good. Thank this you. This is such a great book that you've written, such a unique story. How did you come up with the idea? Well, it originally became a short story because throughout my adult life, I was the hobby of writing short stories. And then when COVID came, I decided to, to expand on it and make it a full-length novel. Well, then you put COVID to good use because you've written a terrific novel here. Tell us a little bit about the unique psychic powers that Wally has and how they shape his life. Well, he's got unlimited memory. Everything he sees uh, is scanned into his memory. And anything, anytime he wants to retrieve something from his memory, he can do that. And he can read other people's minds, memories just by touching them. And he can also retrieve their memories as well. And whenever he can, he uses his powers to help people. Those are wonderful abilities to have for anyone, of course, particularly for a lawyer. How does the ability to scan memories impact his career as an attorney? Well, uh, he can, uh, well, when he has somebody coming to his uh, office for a problem, when he shakes his hand, he knows right away what their problem is. So he doesn't have to uh, ask any questions and he just listens to what they will have to say and he can figure out a solution for them. Awesome. That is such a cool premise, such a great character. Um, any real life inspirations for Wally's character or his abilities? Mm, not really. I just uh, use my imagination. Uh, you used it to uh, good use because it very is very imaginative, is very creative. And um, give us an overview of the story. So he's here's this guy. He's in New York City. He's a lawyer. He's got these special psychic abilities, including scanning memories, touching people's hands and getting their memories. Uh, but give us an overview of what the story is about. Well, basically, uh, he also, uh, when he becomes a lawyer, he falls in love with this, uh, another lawyer called Elizabeth. And uh, he uses his powers as much as he can to court her. But the problem is he has a nemesis named Jeffrey. And uh, he's uh, engaged to marry her. And uh, he has to fight, figure out a way how to convince her to break off his engagement so he can marry her. Yeah. Well, that's cool that he's basically able to read her mind because he can come up with a pretty good game plan then, right? Oh, yeah, he does. And it uh, took a while, but he succeeds. Wonderful, wonderful. Do you envision this as a TV show or a movie or anything like that? I could see it being a wonderful film. Well, I've had several uh, phone calls from companies saying that they could make it into a movie or a film, but uh, I, uh, I don't want to pay any production costs. They say that it's a wonderful book. It'll make a lot of money and everything. But then they say, well, you have there's production costs and they're willing to pay half and I have to pay half. And I said, and th what they said, you know, you pay half, they'll uh, negotiate a deal for me. And then they say, you'll get 70% and they have 30%. And I said to them, I'll make you a deal. You pay the entire production cost. I'll take 30 and you can have 70. Exactly. Once I tell them that, never to hear from them again. Oh, you're a wise man. Exactly. If people are asking you for money to make a movie, forget about it. If Hollywood finds this book and a legitimate person finds this book, great. 
but they should fund it without a doubt. So you're on the right path there, but you've got a great story and hopefully it winds up in the right hands. We're, we're rooting for that. What was it like writing this uh, story? Uh, did it take a lot of time? Did you, you had written the uh, short story earlier and then expanded it. Tell us a little bit about the writing process. Well, basically I uh, took out a notebook and started writing it. And then when I couldn't figure anything out, I have a nice balcony outside. I live on the 15th floor facing a beautiful forest. So I pace up and down the balcony and uh, I start you know, getting a little ideas and I writing them down. And then I head for my computer and then uh, I start typing. Wonderful, wonderful. Are you thinking about a sequel at all or another book based on oh. Wally? Uh, I've already have and it's ready. Awesome. To, uh, Tell us about that one. What's the name and what's the storyline there? Well, basically it's called Joey, Gifted Book Two. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, at the end of the <clears throat> uh, the novel, he uh, in like his uh, father and his uh, brother, they were involved in the drug trade. And uh, at the end of the book, on the first one, he uh, inherits uh, his uh, father and son's, uh, uh, I guess, his money from uh, the drug trade. They 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 both die in the in the book, and uh, and what happens is. Uh, Joey, he's a member of the Chinese Triad because they they, they were in the they, they were dealing with the Chinese Triad and basically Joey goes to him and uh, says that uh, you know we want to deal with you okay. because uh, what happens is that jo Joey's brother notices that Wally's getting a lot of uh, businesses from the Triad and he wants to take over his business okay. and. Uh, his, uh, Joey's brother approaches uh, Wally and uh, he wants to sell his business and jo uh, Wally refuses, but he mm. touches his hand and he knows that uh, uh, Wally, uh, Joey's brother wants to kill him so he can get his wife to sell his business. So he's got a couple of friends from, well, he's from Ukraine and he's got a couple of friends who are Cossack warriors and uh, he hires them to take care of uh, uh, his brother. And uh, well, when that happens, Joey gets a little upset, you know, upset because uh, he thought that uh, his brother, Charlie, is going to take over his businesses. So he approaches Wally and makes a pact with him. And uh, they then be become friends and they uh, have a lot of business uh, dealings with them. And they both become very prosperous. It sounds like a great premise for another story. Is this book ready to be published or has it already been published? It's ready to be published. I, okay. I, I already uh, sent uh, the manuscript to Atticus. Okay, wonderful. They already have it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's great. It sounds like a wonderful sequel to a terrific book. And uh, so we're looking forward to that coming out as well. Was this book um, gifted the first book you ever wrote? Yes. Yeah. But you had written a lot of short stories growing up. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how your writing career developed. Well, it was just like a hobby, you know. You know, I get sick and tired of watching TV, so I'll just grab a, a pencil and a pad and I start scribbling whatever is on here and uh, I expand on it. And then uh, and then I guess I lose interest in it and then think of something else over the years on and off. Gotcha. But come the pandemic came around and you said, hey, take a look at this story. Let's expand it. I think that was a great idea. How long did it take you to write it once you turned it into a novel? Mm, probably close to a year. A year. Okay, good. Good. Well, it's a great well, pursuit. I, did, I, I, uh, read the, I wrote the book and I reread it and kept rereading it and editing until I thought it, the way I liked it. Well, you did a great job with that because all of the uh, plot lines and the storylines all connect very, very well. It all makes sense. It's a terrific character that you've created in Wally Kozak. How much of Wally Kozak is you? I wish all of it was, but I don't think the, I, don't, I don't see any of it in me. I wish it was. <laughs>
Well, you're certainly gifted as well. And uh, because you're a gifted writer and did a great job on this book that happens to be called Gifted. And it is a thrilling novel about Wally Kozak, a successful New York lawyer with incredible psychic abilities. Wally isn't just any attorney. He can access memories simply by touch, using his unique powers to help others in ways they never could imagine. This book is a true page turner. You will love it. Hollywood, if you're listening, come take a look at this book and turn it into a screenplay and turn it into a film because it would be wonderful. And the good news is there's a sequel that will soon be published. And we're looking forward to that as well. Walter, thank you so much for joining me here today on Spotlight. Thank you. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Thanks for being on our show. To the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time until next time on Spotlight.